Hello. Hi, how are you? What do we got here? We have a Pat Morita from the Karate Kid autographed hat. Pat Morita and Ralph Macchio autographed photo from the Karate Kid 2 and Mr. Miyagi action figure. Cool. Yeah, I tried the wax on, wax off with my kids. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my Pat Morita autographed hat, picture, and figurine. I'm a huge Pat Morita fan. I followed him throughout his whole career. I've had these Pat Morita items for a little under 20 years. Although they have sentimental value to me, I hope that maybe they could go to somebody who would appreciate them as well. I'm hoping to get $1,000 for all of my Pat Morita items. This is pretty cool. Mr. Miyagi, Pat Marina, he was a really interesting guy. He started literally doing comedy in his parents' restaurant, eventually ended up becoming a stand-up comedian. Then he got his big break as being Arnold on... Uh, Happy Days. Happy Days, yes. Yeah, I love that show. His big deals when The Karate Kid came out, though. That's where everybody knows him from. My sensei. I mean, it came out, I think, right around 84, and uh, it did much better than anyone thought. So after The Karate Kid, he's like suddenly a megastar and multiple sequels to this, and he was in a lot of different sitcoms. As a matter of fact, in the 90s, I used to rent out the pawn shop for like TV shows and movies, and he filmed something in here once. Oh, that's awesome. The hat's really cool. He actually tried to start his own hat company, and this is probably one of the hats he sold. Yes, it's a Pat's hat for sure. And it doesn't exactly fit me. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you get this stuff? I went to the signing after like a comedy show and he and his wife were there and there were hats. And then I said, I really like the denim one that you have. Do you have any more of those? And he just like took it off his head and put it on. He goes, it looks better on you. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you get this? I went to a Karate Kid 2 premiere and they said that Pat Morita had signed photographs. Okay. What you got here is cool. It's interesting. Um, how much do you want for it? Um, I was hoping to maybe sell it as a set and um, get about $1,000 for it. <sighs> I have no idea what his autograph goes for. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he signed a lot or he signed a little. So if you don't mind hanging out a little bit, mm -mm. Um, let me get someone down here to check out the signatures and get his opinion. Okay. No problem. I'll be right back. I tried for like an hour once to catch a fly with chopsticks. Never happened. So before we get started, she came in with this stuff, went and called you, went to my office, went through some old pictures. Bam. Who's that? That's me with hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's Paparita. That's you? That's me right there. Wow. Way back in the day. That's unbelievable. Maybe I need to authenticate that first before we do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, this young lady has this photograph, this hat, and you don't need to authenticate that because that definitely is Mr. Miyagi. Oh, yeah, for sure. I have no idea what these things are worth. That's why I call you right. down. Yeah, I mean, Pat Morita is known for, obviously, all the Karate Kid movies, and that's kind of what really made him famous. Ralph Macchio, the people from Karate Kid, they're all doing shows and conventions, but... Marita isn't someone we really see a lot, and he carries a pretty good deal of value if it's on the right piece. Okay. So the first thing I want to look at is the hat. And Pat had a really sloppy signature. His A was usually typically written in that lowercase style like I'm seeing here. The rest of his name is very sloppy, kind of like what we see in this general area. That looks absolutely fantastic. The next one here, I find it interesting because the examples that I have, he has a straight up stand up P and he always uses a lowercase a when he signs his name. And I'm not really seeing that here. What I'm seeing here is his, the P leans heavily over. Uh, the A is uppercase. Now he could have done it, but quite honestly, just given the inconsistencies here, Rick, that I'm looking at, I, I would say no to this. The hat's wonderful. I have no doubt that he signed that. Looks like a great in-person signature. The photograph is something I would tell you to stay away from, and I would too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think the hat's worth? It's a neat collectible, Rick, but you have to find a super niche collector for it. Okay. You know, with that said, you know, I'd put the hat probably at about $100. Okay. All right, thanks, man. All right, nice to see you. Take care. Thank you. Yep. <sighs> well, he doesn't like the signatures on this. So uh, the hat, I'd give you like 60 bucks for it. I'm really sorry, but I think the sentimental value is I have to keep it. I completely understand. 
And uh, have anything else, come bring it to me. You got it. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I'm a little bit disappointed, but that's okay. I'll just take them home with me, and I'll wear the hat when it gets cold. <laughs>